I'm Brianna Pitts with the WBZ News Update. The Framingham Police Chief confirms an officer has been injured in a head-on collision. It happened at the intersection of Central Street and Edgell Road around midnight. The officer was responding to calls for backup at an out-of-control house party. Both the officer and the other driver were flown to the hospital with serious injuries. The chief also telling WBZ two people were arrested at that party. One was charged with disorderly conduct, the other for assaulting a police officer and resisting arrest. A fight between neighbors over snow, and one man is accused of going after the other with an axe. Sam Musa says he was plowing his Pelham, New Hampshire driveway on Wednesday when his neighbor, Eric Shonaki, came running over with an axe. He accused Musa of dumping his snow in his yard and then started banging the axe on his truck. Both men were arrested. A new push to strip the wind name from the casino being built in Everett. A Massachusetts nonprofit says that building shouldn't be named after former CEO Steve Wynn. The Boston Area rape, rape Crisis Center says the state shouldn't get, quote, stuck with the monument to a man forced out of his job due to multiple allegations of sexual assault. The 76-year-old Wynn resigned on Tuesday. The Gaming Commission declined to comment on the suggestion, but they are investigating the Wynn allegations. The casino is set to open in June of 2019. Let's send things over to our meteorologist, Danielle Niles. Hi, Danielle. Hi, Rihanna. Happy Friday, everyone. Sunshine fading away behind increasing clouds through the day today. Temperatures on the rise lower 30s by later on with the southwest breeze 8 to 16 miles per hour. We are tracking snow. No, back to the west through the Midwest, Great Lakes, Chicago, seeing the snow tapering off through the afternoon. The snow is expanding east, and it's actually a sign of warmer air that's pushing in. The warm front lifts north. So 8 to 10 p.m., we get some snow showers. This may be a little underdone. I do think they'll expand just north and west of Boston, but it's a very brief period before the snow continues to press to the north. This is the map through the day on Saturday. Notice a lot of clouds, but most of us stay dry. Just a couple showers, let's say north of Manchester. Sunday is a different story. Sunday morning, air Areas of rain, maybe just cold enough for a touch of some freezing rain and ice early Sunday morning north and west of Boston. So we'll watch this threat closely. Either way, off and on rain at times heavy, particularly along the south coast Sunday afternoon and evening. So it looks like the second half of the weekend is going to be pretty damp out there. Coating to an inch. For snow showers possible here, one to three for the Berkshires back across a lot of northern New England. Look at that jump, though, to about 50 tomorrow. Rain on Sunday. It looks like temperatures stay at or above average in the 40s for much of next week. Upper 30s could be a sprinkle or a flurry on Tuesday. Brianna? Danielle, thank you. I'm Brianna Pitts. This has been a WBZ News Update.